In this lesson, we'll talk about working efficiently by duplicating the geometry that we create. So this is 05 Begin, and it's an Audi R8 uh, automobile that we've created. And so what we want to talk about now is, again, being able to see those objects that we can duplicate to make our lives a little bit easier. For instance, looking at this car and going into building this, you can see that it is actually symmetrical. And many of the models that you create in Maya are going to be symmetrical, at least initially and for the most part. And so in those cases, you don't have to build everything on both sides. Okay, You need to build the things that are unique and then duplicate those in different ways. So for instance, if we built the rear view mirror here, and I'll go up to the, I'll just hit the up arrow to go to the top of the hierarchy. You can see we've built, taken the time to build this mirror. We wouldn't want to build it all from scratch again just to put it on the other side. We'd want to duplicate it. So to duplicate, we can just hit Control D on our keyboard and it'll duplicate whatever node we have selected. If I then move this off, you can see that I've now created another mirror. Now, if this wasn't a mirror, but some sort of detail that we wanted to be, you know, spread across the door, that would be fine. We could just duplicate them and move them down. But in this case, we want to create a mirror image. So the way that we can create a mirror image, image is there's a little trick to it that works pretty quickly. And so what we want to do is we want to get the, so this is built, let's take a look at this. This is built across an axis here. So if we look at our grid, there's an axis running right down the center of this car. And everything on this side is the same. It's like a mirror image of everything on this side. Okay. So what we want to do is move the pivot point of the object that we want to copy to the center. And we'll take a look at why that is in a second. But one of the quickest ways to do that is just to regroup it. So I've got a group selected. I'm going to open the outliner so that we can see this a little bit better. So here is our car door group, uh, car door left group, and here's our mirror group. And so then within that mirror group, we've got a couple of objects. So the mirror group pivot is right at the center. I'm going to group it again. This time, uh, whenever you create a new group, the pivot's going to be moved to the origin. Okay, so just control D, or I'm control G to, to group. Now control D will duplicate it. So we've now created a duplicate. And now watch what happens when we begin to scale this group. Okay, so we were going to scale it in the X direction. I'll just click on the X. You see as we scale this towards zero, it starts to go and disappear. Okay, which is not good. But what if we keep going? We'll go ahead and take that all the way over to the other side. And if we set this to negative one, we've essentially created a mirror image of this mirror. And go ahead and freeze the transformations, which will take out that negative. And now we've got a mirror on the other side. So basically, it's just a few clicks. So we've selected this. If the pivot's not in the right place, Control G to move the pivot and create a new group. Control D to duplicate. And then all you have to do is put negative one in the scale. And you've got that geometry over on the other side. Okay, so always look for those things that you can, those unique pieces that you can build and then duplicate to, to finish out your model. Let's take a look at this wheel. I'm going to turn off the car layer. Let's say that we have one lug nut and we would like to copy this into the other, uh, the other areas here. So we could duplicate it and move it around, but it's not going to be in the exact right position maybe. And it also takes a few more clicks, so we'd have to duplicate it multiple times. So one of the things that we can do is use something called Duplicate Special. So let's go over into the side view where we can see this. And you can see that our wheel is at the, the origin here, and we've got one of our lug nuts here. So we could hit Control D to duplicate, move it around, move that around. But we want to do it all in one click. So let me go ahead and select that. We're going to go to Edit, and we're going to go to Duplicate Special. Okay, now that's going to bring up these options for duplicating this. We're not quite ready to use it though because look, our pivot is still at the center of that lug nut. So we could use the trick of grouping things if we want that to be at the, the origin. We could also use the insert key or the D key to move the pivot point. So if we use the D key, we can, you can see our little indicator changes and we can move that pivot right around. We can also use the insert key and move this around. If we hit X on our keyboard, we can snap that right to, 
to uh, specific points on the grid. Hit insert again. And now when we rotate this around, you can see it's rotating from that pivot. So now we need to figure out how do we get the copies in the right places? Well, we're rotating this all the way around. So think of this as a 360 degree circle. And now think about how many copies you want to eventually have. So we want to have one, two, three, four, five copies. So just doing some simple division, we know that we want to copy every 72 degrees. All right. We also know the direction that we want to spin this around. We want to spin it around the X axis. That's this axis pointing right towards us. So in our duplicate special, we'll select our object and you can see there's some boxes here for translate, rotate and scale. We want to do rotation. So the first box is X. It's X, Y, Z on all of these. So the first box will put in 72 degrees. That's telling my how many degrees between each copy. And then we need to figure out how many copies we want. And we might, you might be tempted to put in five, but we already have one and that's the original. So we only need to make four copies. Once we're done with that, all we'll do is hit one button and you can see it automatically puts them in the right spots. Okay, because we've gone through the process of thinking about where they should go based on the rotation. Okay, and then you can come into your outliner and start to find the, the wheel here. So here's our, our car wheel, and now we can start to put it into position. So I'll turn the car back on, move the wheel over, and we've you know made one wheel and then duplicated it. So it's not like you're building four wheels. You only have to build one, and then you can reuse that because they're going to be, if not identical, very similar, especially you know the ones on the, the two on the front will be the same no matter what. And then the ones on the back, they might be a little bit wider depending on the kind of car um, that you're building. A lot of times they'll be the same. And so you'll be able to duplicate those, speeding up your workflow and making it much more efficient. Okay, so definitely something to think about when you're working. You want to be able to be efficient in those areas where you can be. So then you can focus your time on the areas that really need your attention so that you can make the greatest, uh, the best looking model that you possibly can that'll have the kind of the greatest impact. Okay, so remember, be efficient, reuse the geometry that you've created. Now in the next lesson, we'll talk about being a good modeling team member. So let's take a look at what that looks like in the next lesson.